Yeah, Monday. What's up, everybody? Monday morning. Welcome to today's edition of the Morning Market Commentary. I'm your host, Chuck Fulkerson. We're going to take a look at our four major markets today. Not a whole lot to look at, even a stock of the day, really. Uh, we're just going to look at our four major markets and do it fairly quickly. There's not a whole lot to review, especially those of you that were in the live trade room last night. We covered most of these levels, and none of these levels that we made that we identified last night have made much of an entry. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the big picture, starting with the S&P. S&P, we're up about 20 points this morning, so uh, a little less than half a percent, so up a little bit this morning. And typically what I see in the S&P is our four-hour trend is a bit sideways-ish, I guess is the best way to put it, but we did get a little bit of a fall off below the all-time high. Now, typically what happens is when the S&P breaks the all-time high, you get a little bit of a pullback. So I actually wouldn't be surprised to see a small pullback this week. Um, on the hourly chart, there is a potential breakout above that 4422 area. Clearly, we came close to it in the overnight and then fell away from it, which is actually a pretty bullish sign. If I go to the 15-minute level, there's a small zone here, this little wick over wick area, formed in Friday afternoon, uh, but still going to be a valid level if price does indeed return to that area. In the overnight, we traded up most of the overnight session, at the, uh, at the European Opens, we sold off a little bit, but really not much to concern ourselves with. So I think that a breakout above here is valid. I think a pullback into this area of demand is valid. I'm not looking at any shorts because we're too close to the all-time high. NASDAQ, similar picture. Uh, in the NASDAQ, there's an hourly level right here. You know, this hourly level, in order for it to truly be a strong level, has to see a breaking of this swing high which we did not see that happen in the overnight. So I'm going to leave this hourly level in place. Uh, we did create this little area here yesterday right at the open that we could see a little bounce off of. If you, if you really want to try this gap fill area, um, that's also a potential as we retrace this zone. I'm not a huge fan of Globex gaps on Sunday night. Uh, on Sunday night moves. I don't typically find them to be the best trades, but that is still a potential as well. Um, you know, on the upside, I mean, clearly you've got your breakout above the all-time high. If price gets above that region, that would be your best setup. Crude oil. So crude oil, we have a little supply area up here that's an hourly chart that's a, a really good, strong supply up about 75. My feeling last night was that we would break down a bit and we would continue to fall and unfortunately, it didn't make it up to our little 15-minute entry. That 15-minute level, when we were looking at this, um, when we were looking at this, the market was somewhere right around here um, at this green candlestick. I was really hoping for a pop back up into this region. Never got there uh, last night and then just really continued to sell off. So when that happens, now if price comes back up to that 15-minute level, it would be in an uptrend. So a little bit less probable. I'm going to leave it. Uh, I'm going to leave it be for now, um, but the other the other area now that I think you, you got to take interest in is this region right here. If we get a little bounce off of there, we start basing, you could get a little breakdown from that zone. Um, and then you've got gold, and gold we have another opportunity for a potential breakdown, and it would be this area, excuse me, a reversal, this area up in here. We just have not come back to retest that level as of yet. And so that area, 1825 by 1827, I think is a little drop base, a very nice drop off the hourly chart. So those would be my main levels for my big picture trades. Looking at the Russell today, I want to just do a quick highlight of the Russell. Um, because when I, when I look at the Russell, the Russell's the one that's the four-hour sideways price action um, coming kind of back up. On the weekly chart, it's the one that's the most sideways. We talked about it in our weekend review and weekend preview um, that keep an eye on this candlestick to see, do we come below the low of that candlestick this week? And if we do, that's actually a pretty bearish sign. We may not get there, uh, but just keep that that one that area in, in mind as you look at forward to this week. So that's just a real quick high level. I wanted to throw something out there today. There's not a whole lot of change from yesterday. Um, but I want to at least throw that out there so everybody has a chance to take a quick look. If you guys have any questions, send us an email, support at tradersarmy.com. Until tomorrow, everybody, see ya. Hey, thanks for joining us. If you like what we do, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. 
It's the only way the computers know that you're actually alive and really care. And go to tradersarmy.com today to learn a bit more. And if you want to see some of our other videos, click here in the box.